The coronavirus vaccine rollout is bringing a lot of people around the world a new sense of hope. After getting his first dose of the vaccine, CBS News contributor Simon Bates is taking a moment to daydream about life after the pandemic. Here is this weekend's London Calling, and as always, these are Simon's opinions. Wednesday was a big day for me as I received my first vaccination against the virus, and it left me with a strange mixture of elation, relief and defiance. Elation because I got it at last, relief because it didn't hurt, and defiance because all our lives have been turned upside down by this nasty virus, and this was my first step on the road to normalcy. And I thought of all the things I wanted to do. I want the restaurants to reopen so I can take my wife to dinner. I want to get on a red London bus without worrying who's sitting opposite me. I want to have a drink in a country pub without checking I'm six feet away from everyone else. I want to go sing my heart out at an indoor concert without being told to be quiet. I want to go shopping at my local supermarket without having to spray the trolley with disinfectant. I want the Queen and her family back at Buckingham Palace. I want to hail a black London cab and not worry if the driver's infected. I want to visit my daughter in Australia. I want to stop walking around everywhere wearing one of these. I want to switch on the evening news without hearing the latest death figures. And I want to have some friends round for lunch. As many friends as I want, from as many different households as I choose, without worrying that the police could burst in at any moment. And then from euphoria to practicality. I won't be doing any of these things right now, as I'm not really immune from anything for the next three weeks, and then I have to return in 12 weeks for my second jab. But for the first time since I left London nearly a year ago and began this terrible business of hiding away from life here in the countryside, I feel that maybe something good is finally starting to happen. I hope that you're beginning to feel that way too. That's London Calling for today. This is Simon Bates for CBS News in Devon. Coming up after a break, how the city of Tampa is trying to prevent Super Bowl weekend from becoming a super